Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm showing you how to make the earth. So let's get right into it. So delete your default cube, hit shift A, add a UV sphere, scale it up a little bit, hit control A, and then apply the scale. Uh, hit control 2 on your keyboard to give it about two subdivisions, and then click shade smooth. And then what we can do is go up to the top left right here until your cursor turns into this little T crosshair kind of thing. Click and then drag to split your window. Go over to this little ball and grid, click it, and then click shader editor. Go up here where it says new, click new, you can hit N to close this toolbar. And then we can click on our principal BSDF, make sure you have no Wrangler enabled. Hit edits, preferences, add-ons, and then just type in not install. Type in node, and then make sure node Wrangler is enabled. If you don't have node Wrangler enabled, you won't be able to do this part, uh, so just enable it. Once node Wrangler is enabled, hit control T on your principal BSDF, and it'll give you this texture coordinate setup. Click open, go to wherever you have your color image for the earth, open it. And then if we view in rendered mode, we can see that we have our earth. Click on your albedo.jpg or whatever your color texture name is. Hit shift D, bring it down, hit this little file, and then add your bump. Change it to non-color data. Right here, this color space changes to non-color. Hit shift A, and then type in bump. Put the color into the height, and the normal into the normal. <coughs> Excuse me. And once we do that, we can see we have our bump map. Uh, right now it's way too high, so we're going to change it to about 0.2. Maybe even less, maybe 0.1. And once we have that, what we can do is we can go back out and hit Z to go into wireframe mode. And shift D, this UV sphere, and bring it up just a little bit, right where it's covering it. And if we go into it, you might see that it's the same texture. Just remove the material from this and then hide it to make sure you didn't remove the material accidentally for that one. I've done that before. Don't do it. And what we can do now is we can click New. And we're going to go into Cycles for this. Change it to GPU if you render on GPU. And now what we can do is we can we, we can hit, uh, we can delete this transparent BSDF, hit Search, and then type in Diffuse. We're going to use a Diffuse and not, uh, we're going to use a Diffuse and not Principled. Just so we have like less confusing nodes, because if you don't know a lot about it, it can be confusing. We're just gonna use a BSDF. No real reason for that. Uh, connect it to the surface, and then hit Shift A and type in transparent until you get to a transparent BSDF. Click that. Shift A again, and then type in mix shader. Put your mix shader around this line where the diffuse is going to the material output, and then put your transparent into the bottom of the mix shader. And what we can do is we can hit Control T on your Diffuse BSDF. And then it'll give us our texture nodes. And then just go where your cloud texture is. Open up your clouds. And you can see we have our clouds. We can bump the roughness up to 0.5. And we have our clouds also at the original sphere. What we can do is click it and then change the roughness up to about 0.7 or 0.8. And there we go with that. And once we have that, what we can do is we can hit Shift D again, scale this up a little bit. Make sure it's not overlapping the previous one. And now what we can do is we can give this a new material, just minus this material. Click new. And then what we can do is we can add a layer weight node and a transparent BSDF. Change the base color to like a bluish type color. And then all we have to do is just put just add a mix shader put the mix shader in between the principal and material output and then put the transparent into the bottom and then put facing into the fact of our mix shader and so now if we look we should be able to see that we have an atmosphere uh, we might have to switch these yes yeah, switch those uh, transparent at the top principal at the bottom and then we can up this if we want it to be more for some reason but we can also lower it to be like that. 
and we can change the roughness to whatever we want and so now that we have that what we can do is we can go back to our original earth material in our uh, actual earth texture what we can do is we can hit a or shift a and add a mix shader put this up here shift a add an emission shader and then uh, basically hit control T on this emission shader to get the texture nodes back click open and then go to wherever you have your night lights over and then put this emission into the bottom shader of this and or we could actually just put this into the strength and change the color to like an orangish um, yeah once we have that what we can do is we can go back to our atmosphere I'm probably gonna change this to like a darker blue kind of thing like this and then probably change this down a little bit before we have this um, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift A and add a math node put it in between the night lights and the emission line right here and then change add to multiply and this value right here will determine how bright your lights are uh, I'm gonna put mine at maybe two and then once we have that what we can basically do is move this sphere move our first sphere into something like this to where the night lights actually make sense in the darkness and stuff and once we have that uh, I might change this value to maybe 1.5 to make it a little darker maybe one and once we have that that's basically earth uh, completed so um, thanks guys so much for watching we can also decrease the roughness on this a little bit maybe decrease the roughness on the atmosphere a little bit decrease the roughness pretty much everything a little bit and that's basically earth um, so thanks guys so much for watching um, you can set up your camera settings by going to camera and then just changing the perspective till it's like like this basically um, so yeah that's basically it thanks guys so much for watching uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video hopefully you learned something don't forget to subscribe my name is Michael from Polygon Island and I'll see you guys next time bye